and particularly a gentleman by the name of Mr. Jawar Mohammed, who was stationed in, in Minnesota, have a wide range of support from many Islamic states, and particularly the Gulf states, who lavished him with money and all other resources, and formed a propaganda machine, a hate machine called OMN, has formed a very powerful, and where Ethiopia was ill-prepared how to mitigate to the force that he was about to unleash. When he went back to Ethiopia, unlike any of the diasporas that went and rejoiced, Jawar Muhammad has only one agenda and one agenda only, to overtly push a caliphate of sort to create an Islamic state within Ethiopia and to use the Oromo ethnic group as, as his power base. I have news for him. There is no Ethiopia without Oromos. Oromo is Ethiopia. Ethiopia is Oromo. As we have testified in Congress, the jewel crown of our history resides in Ethiopian Muslims and Ethiopian Christians coexisting for centuries without annihilating each other. Nowhere on earth do we see the love, respect, the inter-religious marriages, even the blood that was shed to protect Ethiopia, so Ethiopia remains the only free, independent, uncolonized country came out of the blood of Muslims and Christian poor. Jawar Muhammad has only one agenda and one agenda only. He is bringing extremist agenda that has created havoc in the Middle East. He is bringing extremist agenda that has made Somalia a failed state. So, he had thousands and thousands of cell phones that was imported in Ethiopia that was freely given to his thugs. It is this communication fueled and empowered by the OMN that helped him create over 1.7 million Facebook followers at the instant of message, at the instance of signal and order that he gives. They have unleashed the most unbelievable crime against humanity. Over 86 people are confirmed dead. Over 400 people are now victims. They are in hospital, fighting for their precious life. Many have been pushed out of their homes. And this is what we fear the most, because this is a down payment unless it is checked and stopped. And these criminals are brought to face the full extent of the law. This is a down payment of civil war only Africa only witnessed in Rwanda. And it is exactly in the same way it began. So, no more an ethnic political debate that is affecting our system of governance in Ethiopia. It is now ethnic slash religious. And as a result, we are facing a major, a major catastrophe in the country. So, we've written a letter to the Honorable Mike Pompeo, um, a very compelling letter documenting uh, the crime that is committed against the in civilians. Um, there was an, an ensued uh, discussion between the Prime Minister of Ethiopia and uh, the Secretary, and this subject has been broke. We also are working, as you know, Ethiopian Civ American Civil Council still holds 
and to promote the resolution drafted in the Senate, Senate Resolution 168. In that, that there is an amendment language we're asked to add that would also include the current crisis in Ethiopia. We are about to submit that and we hope to see that our amendment language will be included at that point that we ask all Ethiopians and all human right loving people to uh, rally uh, with us. I want to thank all of you that have come. And particularly, I want to thank the Honorable Jason Crow, a real champion of human right. And I know you brought up in a household of human right. And this is, this is a cause that is so close to your heart. In this time of major legislation uh, session, uh, that you have taken the time to come to be with us, to stand with our shoulder. To, I want to thank you for that. I want to thank you.